Hey there, it's Maria from designbymaria.com. In this video, I am giving you some suggestions for preparing your primary sacrament presentation. Before I get started, I just feel like I have to make a quick disclaimer. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but I don't speak for the whole church. Please make sure to use the current handbook. I'm going to read what is currently out, but I'll probably leave this video up for a while so things can change. In section 12 of the handbook, under primary, it reads, Children's Sacrament Meeting Presentation. The annual Children's Sacrament Meeting Presentation is held during the last few months of the year. The children present what they have learned at home and at church during the year. They help the congregation focus on Heavenly Father, the Savior, and their teachings. The primary presidency and music leader prayerfully plan the presentation. The bishopric gives direction. Children may sing, give talks, and share stories, scriptures, or testimonies. The presentation may take all or part of the meeting time after the sacrament. Units with few children may invite children's family members to participate. Because of the sacredness of sacrament meeting, the presentation should not include visuals, costumes, or media presentation. Because it's been several years since I was the primary president, I wanted to get some ideas from people who are currently serving in primary or recently released. First, we're going to hear from Stacy. She just completed her time as our ward's primary president. For our primary programs, I did about three in my presidency. And I think the best one was one where we had divided um, the classes with a profit. And then each kid took that profit or um, we had, as Esther, we had women and men. And the girls would take something from Esther, what they did that they can be like that, something like that. And we kind of made them, the children answer their own questions. And I felt like that was, a lot, of, a lot of the people liked that kind of a outline. I like how Stacy talked about how she had the kids contribute to their talks. And they decided to focus on profits, but you could use that for any kind of different topics that you wanted. Have the kids prepare their own talks. We will hear from my sister, Cindy who is currently serving as a counselor in her ward's primary. For a successful primary program, I think one of the biggest things to consider is talking about what you're gonna do for the primary program at the beginning of the year. It's like when January sits, sit down with your presidency and your music leader and kind of plan out what songs you're gonna do and kind of do a rough draft. And then throughout the year when kids are giving talks for primary, if there's a talk that goes really good with your outline, you can ask for a copy of that talk and actually use it in the primary program. And the more that can be genuine kid things, I think the better, instead of just like having you do the scripture, you say this, if it's actually coming from the kids, kids experiences and planning out the songs you're gonna sing. So then you can review those songs after you teach them throughout and kind of focus on those songs throughout the year. And then also to just realize it's all going to work out because some of the best primary programs are the ones that the kids are just super cute and do random things and everybody loves it. Like everybody loves the primary program, so try not to stress about it and just remember that those songs and those kids are going to bring the spirit and touch the hearts of the people in the audience. My sister and I must think alike because we both had the same experience of keeping talks throughout the year and I also wrote down some cute comments that the kids had made in a notebook and as we saved those talks when it came time to prepare the program it just came together so easily so I would highly recommend the same method that she suggested of keeping their talks. Jackman Music has a primary outline. That could be a great place to start because off camera, my sister was telling me that when they were first called, it was August and they didn't have a lot of time to put together their programs. One time we tried just having for the younger kids a fill in the blank, the older kids kind of a prompt for them to write a few sentences and we sent those home with instructions for the parents. We discovered that that was not the best method for our ward. We had a few people, a few kids that came and brought those back, filled out, but honestly not very many. I've also seen during the lesson time the teachers helping the kids write the talk so that it's completed during class, turned in right at the end. There's none of this 
back and forth. Another thing that some wards have done is they will send the kids home with a little treat at the end just to tell them good job and just make the day special. I am designing some cute little printables that you can use if you want to send home a little treat for the kids or the teachers. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have other suggestions, especially for smaller primaries, will you please leave those in the comments below? We want to help each other and get ideas from each other and I appreciate you for watching this. Please also let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you and good luck with your primary sacrament presentation. Mm -hmm.